30 seconds. Get out.
But watch what happens if my elbow slips to the inside a little bit. Even if I'm doing a decent job of keeping it in the right position, um, as far as not pushing, I don't push because he can shove it past. He can feel the energy and he can shove it, even with his hand or with his hip. So I want to make sure that this doesn't go here. Because now when he goes to turn the corner on me, there's nothing in his way to stop him from turning the corner. So I like a little simple elbow frame right there. This hand, this hand, I do the same thing with the elbow, but it's on the inside of his leg here. So that I can uh, reserve this space that's here between us. And now that's going to give me room to be a good decision maker. Because it's going to be really hard for him to advance into a, like a, uh, a submitting position from here. So I'm here. When I feel that I can get my hip out to the side here and flatten my leg to the ground, I'm almost certain that I'm going to be able to get back into my half. There's a lot of different ways to do it. We're going to do just a base knee elbow escape right now. So, I could have, if you're pulling the thigh, I won't make that one. This is it. Right here. And back into my half with an underhook on that side. Super simple. This happens when I feel his weight shifting to this side. If he leaves his knee heavy on this side like he's laying in here, there's no chance that I can get underneath that. I can't do it. But when I feel that his weight shifts here and he's sitting this way, it makes that very easy to do. Does everybody understand? So look, it's a simple little play. I go under him. This is not what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not doing this and pulling my knee to the inside. That's not wrong if he gives you the space to do that. That's just not what we're doing right now. He's tight with this space. And I feel his weight shift over to the other side. I block and I bring my knee under my elbow. And now I move my hip towards the whole mess. And I will come back into my half. Everybody get to me. Ready? One, two, three. I'm able to get to my side and flatten my leg to the inside. This is, uh, come on. This is my survival position. Right? This is not what I'm doing. Grabbing this foot with my shoulders flat. You're going to get choked with Ezekiel or arm triangle, or you're just not going to get out. You're going to be bearing this weight on your diaphragm. It's going to suck. Look how I'm moving myself to the outside and move my foot. Uh, my, what is this thing called? Butt. Move my butt. Keep me here. So if you guys may be encountering this where the guy's trying to keep these legs crossed and keep me hooked in, how do I get on my side? And I'm gonna... Don't let me do it. Don't let me do it. <laughs> And we're in the game. Does everybody understand? Now, when he feels that, he's going to do what Keelan just did. He's going to double down on hooking underneath my leg so that I can't get my leg to the ground. Like, almost take this foot to the ceiling. Yeah. So that I can't get underneath him anymore. Right? And I may, I'll have tricks for that when the time comes. But when I feel that he's hooking and I can't flatten, that's the perfect time to take him over for a bridge and roll stop. And a lot of people will try to tell you that the bridge and roll doesn't work, but I'm telling you it does, and it works all the way to black belt. Okay? So it's just a, it's a technical deficiency. People don't spend enough time working on it. That's just the real truth. It's here, hooked, and now watch the play that I'm going to make. This leg of my body, jump out. Same thing. I can't get to my side, so I hook, I plant, and I move my body, hip towards him and shoulders away. And once I'm there, now I'm going to bridge behind me this way. So, yeah, oh man, oh, I'm in trouble. I wanted to do my first escape because it's so easy, but that didn't work out, so I make this movement. I'll take your foot back here. Take your foot back here. Yes, good stuff. Right. Now, from here, the bridge goes over this shoulder. Do you feel compromised? Yeah, I'm still here. What about, oh, no, stay, stay. What about when I flip my hips? Stay up there. Let's go back. I want you to stay more straight right now. So I go up and here, and then I flip my hip and suck my shoulder out. Can you put me back on the ground flat here? Put me back down. Take my back. Arm lock me. 
and then I'll pull this bottom deep right to my face, and I can come up and twist it. So the movement by itself is here. Hook, take the hip towards it and the shoulders away. And that'll tell you which angle to roll. Right? It's not a bridge roll sign. The roll happens right there. Up and over that shoulder. And I flip my hip and I watch. When I do that, the side of my shoulder is stuck on the ground. I need the front of my deltoid to touch the floor. And now he can't take me back anymore. Make sure you stay disciplined with your frame. Here. Watch what happens if I don't stay disciplined with the frame. Just a little bit. Go. He can shut past it. I'm going to try to stop you from doing that while I'm out of position. Go. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. It's a subtlety. It's this much. And now right here, I can feel because he lost, he let go of that hook, I'm going to be able to just move my hip back and recover my half. But if I stay on the hook, now the next play, once he's stuck, once I pause him here, I pull the bottom knee to my face. And that sweeps him. A lot of times you got to keep that base right there. Watch this. I kick his foot. <laughs> oh, what's that thing called? I kick his hand out. And then we come up. He's going to try a triangle if he's got any game. So if you're motion without a partner, keep it simple. Top guy, don't get as much resistance as what he was getting while we're running. Hook, hip, here. Big bridge, lift and suck my shoulder out. Elbow frame is strong. Once I feel he's stuck, bottom knee sweeps him out. If he's still based, kick his foot, retract, come up, watch the triangle. Ready, one, two, three. You're going. Got your foot. Got your foot. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> the trap doesn't come from squeezing harder. Does it happen in any other part of jujitsu? No. Set the trap and move your hip. Like you just barely touch it. You don't even have to touch it. <laughs> and now if he wants to take his foot back, go ahead and take your foot back. Then he has to lighten the position and allow me to the inside space. So, oh, when I move it. Look, I haven't bridged yet. Here's another thing that I see you guys do. You're getting trapped and you're going, instead of moving your hip towards the trap, you're bridging your hip towards the trap. Well, now you can't bridge again. You've already done it. So you're not going to have any lift on your, on your bridge. Slide your hip over here. And then when, he, when you're ready to make your bridge, make a full bridge up and over that shoulder and then flip the hip suck the shoulder you're good to go here the only thing left is for him to punch you which means he's going to have to commit his base somewhere so that i can pull him out it's a soft little play it's a foot sweep right here you see turn him right over you gotta watch this triangle on the back door now i'm telling you when i was first messing with this i got triangled about a hundred times because i'd go like this and i'd go Oh, I'm stuck. I can't get up. And I'll post my hand and I come up and here comes this triangle right here. And that's an embarrassing way to go out. After you just breathe the wrong somebody, you got a triangle. Oh, kill yourself. When I make my flip right here and I go to pull this knee in, a good guy is going to keep his hand and keep his base. He's going to keep that. So now I'm going to post low on my elbow. And watch, I'm just going to kick his wrist. Stay up. <laughs> and now I'm ready. If you want, you come up, you come up, you know he's going to kick this triangle. So open this space for him. Watch what this elbow does. As I come up, he goes to kick that triangle, and I'll slide that hand to the inside. I'm going to do a double under pass before he understands what happened. It's just a little subtle stretch of my elbow right there, like that, and I'm back into the under pass. You guys see it? Super slow. Mm -hmm. Out that way. But I'm out either way. I'm out either way. You guys got it? So if he stop, if you get halfway through and he says, you know what? I don't like stopping you that way anymore. I'm gonna stop you the other way.
cool, I know how to escape that way too. His weight goes here, I do A. His weight goes here, I do B. But it's just organizing in principles rather than where does my hand go, where does my foot go? No, where is his weight? And how does jujitsu respond to that reaction? Ready, one, two, three. Weight, my move on him. And when I go to make my play, he's able to pull his foot out of his trap. When I feel that, I just move my head to the other side. And because of the position that I have with this elbow, he's not able to chase me and cut that gap with me. And now I can make the decision that I need to make as far as how I'm going to recover my half. If he pops his hips up a little too high, then it's easy to pull my knee to the inside. If he stays low, here, let's go back to that. Oh, I'm going to make my play and he, he pulled his foot out. Move your hip and recover. So wherever his weight is, you got to move the opposite side. If his weight is all over here, he's going to be impossible to move. Right? Like, I'm going to have to be so strong that I'm not. But when I feel that his weight is here, I know because, of, because he only has so much weight to distribute, I know it's going to be light on this other side. Understand? So I'll choose to take the easier path based on what he's showing. So I get halfway through this one, and he starts to make plays, and I can start to come in here. And now if, I've got, if I'm inclined, I've got a lot of opportunity here to take him up above my head and invert and get into his legs. But all I have to do is make some kind of play, and then he can either choose to fall or not. If he doesn't want to get caught in the, in the black magic, then it's an easy move backwards. Knee comes in, and then a little inversion there, and you're right into an Ashi Ready? One, two, three. 